All right, let's start this with two claps and a Ric Flair, woo! NFTs are dead, we're in a bear market, no up only season, NFT winter is here. I'm just kidding. OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace and it looks like Coinbase is coming for that crown next. So for this video, it's for you if you want to learn more about Coinbase NFT marketplace. What is up NFT explorers? Mike DeMazzo here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no shill resource. So for this video, we're going to talk about different marketplaces. Well, for this one, it's specifically the Coinbase marketplace or their upcoming marketplace. We're going to look at the platform, what Coinbase NFTs are and their future plans. So Coinbase is launching their own NFT platform first. It was announced in October 13, basically less than a month ago. In their first day of creating a waitlist for early access, they had over 1 million people signed up. 1 million people signed up in one day. OpenSea, the world's largest secondary marketplace for NFTs, has 600,000 registered users. So that means they have at least one transaction on OpenSea. That's just the unique wallets. Now, let's think about that for a second with the numbers. 600,000 in OpenSea, 1 million people waiting. OpenSea and its themselves have done 3 billion in sales volume in August. August with only 600,000 registered users. You gotta think, what will it look like when over 1 million people new to NFT as NFT explorers come into this space? Because Coinbase NFT will most likely be their first experience. What do you think that'll look like? Okay, so let's share the video from the VP at Coinbase. Hey everybody, this is Sanchin Saxena, VP of product at Coinbase. And today I am going to give you a sneak peek of Coinbase NFT. What you see on your screen is the landing page for Coinbase NFT. There's a lot to talk about in subsequent videos, but in this one, I would like to focus on how easy it is for anybody to sign in and get started with Coinbase NFT. When you hit sign in, you can either sign in with a self custody wallet like MetaMask or Coinbase wallet, or you can sign in using your Coinbase credentials, buy any NFT and then custody it with Coinbase as well. I'm gonna use Coinbase wallet as an example in this demo, and I'll be able to connect very easily using my Coinbase wallet credentials. Once connected, I will be prompted for some basic information, first of which would be your username. This is a unique username reserved for you on the platform. Your email will be used for just notifications about drops, etc. And you'll be able to select a profile photo either from your laptop or a PFP from your wallet as well. And your name and bio will be optional. Once done, you will be prompted to select the NFTs that you want to showcase on your Coinbase NFT profile. Here, you will see all the NFTs you have created or you own, and you'll be able to easily uncheck any NFT that you do not want to show up on your Coinbase NFT profile. Once done, a beautifully created and curated profile will be created for you, and you'll be able to showcase this profile by sharing it on Twitter, Facebook, whatever it might be, and bring all your friends back to this profile to showcase all the amazing NFTs you own. If you click on the hidden tab, which will only be shown to you, you'll be able to see all the hidden NFTs from your wallet that are not shown to the world. Last but not the least, this profile is some place where people come to follow you and get all the updates from you. And that's pretty much it for this demo. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks, everybody. Their layout reminds me of gallery.so and showtime.io. It is a simple with a clean white background. The trending auction on the right side is interesting to be able to watch NFTs on auction. So it creates that FOMO of like, oh, I kind of like that. I want to put money in, make a bid. With that function to show collections, to follow, it creates a hub to show others you're part of that community or you have that general interest in that community having the ability to quickly check NFTs you own or ones that were randomly airdropped to you makes it easy to curate your collection, you know? So it just, just looks nice and clean. I like that it won't, you know, just openly show NFTs that's airdropped to you. Kind of like OpenSea right now. Like if there's, if I just wanted to airdrop you an NFT, let me know in the comments below, it would just show up. So with the Coinbase, account you don't need to have a coinbase account you would just need to have a coinbase nft account meaning they're two separate things so you could use any self-custody wallet 
that means you could easily connect your MetaMask. I can definitely see them implementing the option for users to organize the visual layout and group NFTs into collections, you know, just to keep it simple and clean. I get it, you could do cyber on cyber to do a 3D view of your NFTs, but this one is different. For their video, it only showed the desktop version, so I'm still waiting on what it would look like on mobile. So the reason being is a lot of us are on mobile all the time. Not everyone has the time to just let me go look at NFTs while I'm on my, say, computer on my desktop and all that. It'll be interesting to see when they implement the mobile because that I have a feeling that's where a lot of people will be transacting at. So the best part of it is it, as it gets implemented, the option to utilize multiple wallets to that one username. So that means you take, for instance, a wallet you created as your vault, you know, where it's your diamond hand collection, you never sell, you're holding that to the moon to ones you intend to flip because, you know, you want to flip up to a board, a yacht club or a crypto punk. I don't think it'll show any fractionalized NFTs that you own because that would be an ERC 20 token. For those that don't know, um, your NFTs are either ERC 721 or ERC 1155 to keep it simple. I'm not going to go deep into that. Let's just leave it at that. Those two uh, things are what your NFTs are. So at a closer look at Coinbase NFT, it is definitely a community social media platform that allows you to curate your collection with their start on Ethereum based NFTs. So a couple of final thoughts about that is first, the amount of ETH that will be burned when it comes available. If there are about 600,000 unique wallets in OpenSea, this means an influx of new NFT explorers coming into this space will be transacting on Ethereum. And since um, 1559, Ethereum just is burning, meaning that it's a deflationary asset. Second is to keep an eye out on NFT artists and teams that will be on their platform's initial launch. Think of it as their Genesis launch. So the teams right now is Ponderware with Mooncats, Ghosts with the hand-drawn NFT mythology, The Forgotten Runes, Wizards Cult, and Michael Blau with his pieces under his pseudonym, XOR. The good thing too is those are easily, um, they're available right now in OpenSea if you do want to purchase them or Nifty Gateway with XOR. Now, their initial launch will support Ethereum-based ERC-721 and ERC-1155 standards with multi-chain support planned soon after. I'm not sure how soon after, but soon trademark. The focus seems to be the user experience. There's no news of integrating um, any layer two scaling networks at launch. So it looks like gas fees will still be something to consider if we do, not if, when we do go to layer two, it'll keep that gas cost down. Now, Coinbase NFT is a creative and creator first. So it's a place to show your collection and create your NFTs. So if I already dropped an NFT that's on OpenSea, let me know what your address is and I'll drop that on. Uh, down to you below. Another thing that they do have is they're, they want to double down on developing community. Basically, they know that NFTs have communities like and double down on that, basically having that network effects for NFTs. Coinbase NFTs wants to expand the creator economy, meaning it's really the community economy with different PFP projects that's launching. The NFT market created its big bang event this year with sales volume topping 10 billion in the third quarter of this year. So you have to think what we're going to be closing with on the NFT marketplaces and the resales for Q4 2021. Will it really set us up on an upward trajectory going into 2022 or will it be that bubble that everyone has always been saying that it will come. Now, personally for me, I know the market has to adjust and correct itself. So be mindful of different NFT projects you're going into. This channel isn't one that's like this NFT is 100x, 10x. This channel specifically, I want it to be as a part of your research on finding different projects. That's why I always ask you, the viewer, to let me know of different NFTs you want me to cover or give my takes.
which none of it is financial advice. So my question to you is, have you signed up for Coinbase NFTs? If not, I'll link my link down below. What are you most excited of when they launch? Sound off in the comments below. Tap that thumbs up for this video because you know, it helps us out against those people that's always like right click save and don't really get NFTs, which is fine. And don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications on because of the vibes. Check out the other videos I have about NFTs and let me know what else you guys like. I truly appreciate being able to cross over to 5,270 5, subscribers right now and look forward to continue to build. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the metaverse.